Welcome to Empowering Connections Manual, peer mentoring program to link long-time survivors with HIV AIDS with more recently diagnosed people or people struggling to come to terms with their diagnosis. My name is William Halstead and I wrote this proposal and program to supplement the services at Colorado Health Network in Denver, Colorado. This is a part of my work towards obtaining my Master of Social Work degree through Yeshiva University. The Empowering Connections Peer Mentoring Program is a transformative initiative that embodies a multidimensional approach to supporting individuals living with HIV-AIDS. At its core, the program is driven by a deep sense of purpose and a commitment to the values of empathy, respect, and empowerment. By connecting long-time survivors with newly diagnosed individuals, the program creates a powerful system of support that leverages the wisdom of shared experiences and the strength of community. Through a comprehensive training curriculum, Peer mentors develop essential skills in active listening, motivational interviewing, and storytelling, allowing them to provide effective guidance and support to their mentees. The program includes activities for the future peer mentors in each module. The program recognizes the profound impact of stigma and the importance of addressing the emotional challenges faced by those living with HIV-AIDS. By fostering a safe and non-judgmental environment, the program encourages mentors and mentees alike to engage in self-reflection, personal growth, and the development of resilience. Ultimately, the Empowering Connections Peer Mentoring Program is a testament to the transformative power of human connection, as it empowers individuals to not only survive but thrive in the face of adversity. Ryan White Funding is now requiring that Colorado Health Network provide peer-led programs. Empowering Connections is a step in that direction. The goal is to recruit one person living with HIV to serve as the facilitator or coordinator for the program. Hello everyone, and welcome to the Empowering Connections Peer Mentoring Program. Today, I'm excited to introduce you to this innovative initiative designed to connect long-time survivors of HIV AIDS with individuals who have been recently diagnosed or are struggling to come to terms with their diagnosis. With approximately 10,261 people living with HIV AIDS in the Denver metropolitan area and a scarcity of peer-led programs, there is a pressing need for initiatives like this one to meet the requirements set forth by the Ryan White Act. Our goal is to provide emotional support, practical guidance, and a sense of community for those navigating the challenges of living with HIV AIDS. The program will include training for peer mentors, gift cards for participants, and monthly supervision meetings. Let's dive in and explore how this program will make a difference in the lives of our participants. The main purpose of Module 1 in the Empowering Connections Peer Mentoring Program is to provide a comprehensive introduction and an overview of the program. This module serves several key functions. Building connections. Through interactive icebreaker activities, participants begin to form relationships and establish a supportive learning environment. This sets the stage for the collaborative and empathetic nature of the program. Establishing a foundation of knowledge. By covering the basics of HIV AIDS and dispelling common myths and misconceptions, Module 1 ensures that all participants have a shared understanding of the key concepts related to the virus. This knowledge is essential for providing informed and empathetic support to mentees. Addressing stigma and cultural competence, Module 1 tackles the critical issues of HIV related stigma and the importance of cultural competence. By exploring these topics, participants develop a deeper understanding of the challenges faced by individuals living with HIV AIDS and the skills needed to provide sensitive and inclusive support. Clarifying the peer mentor role, this module provides a detailed exploration of the peer mentor role, including its boundaries, responsibilities, and rewards. Participants gain a clear understanding of what is expected of them and the scope of their position. Introducing ongoing support resources, Module 1 familiarizes participants with the various support resources available to them throughout the program, such as monthly mentor and mentee meetings. This ensures that participants are aware of the ongoing opportunities for learning, growth, and connection. Overall, Module 1 lays the groundwork for the rest of the program by establishing a strong foundation of knowledge, skills, and relationships. It sets the tone for the collaborative, empathetic, and transformative nature of the Empowering Connections Peer Mentoring Program. Let's start with a warm welcome and some fun icebreaker activities to get to know each other better. We'll play the Find Someone Who Bingo game, share revealing secrets about ourselves using candy, and even tackle the Human Not Teamwork Challenge. These activities will help us build connections and set the stage for a supportive learning environment.
Next, we'll cover the basics of HIV AIDS, dispelling common myths and misconceptions through interactive activities like the HIV AIDS Mythbusters quiz. We'll also address the impact of stigma and the importance of cultural competence in our roles as peer mentors. Understanding these fundamental concepts will equip us to provide empathetic and informed support to our mentees. We'll then explore the role of the peer mentor in depth, discussing the boundaries, responsibilities, and rewards of this position. You'll learn about the ongoing support resources available to you, including monthly mentor and mentee meetings, which will follow a structured format covering topics such as treatment literacy, stress management, and building healthy relationships. Module 2 of the Empowering Connections Peer Mentoring Program focuses on understanding and supporting the emotional challenges faced by newly diagnosed mentees. The primary objectives of this module are Exploring the Emotional Landscape Module 2 delves into the complex range of emotions that newly diagnosed individuals may experience, such as shock, denial, anger, fear, and guilt. Through activities like the Emotional Response Spectrum and Sharing Stories, participants gain a deeper understanding of these emotions and learn to approach them with empathy and compassion. Addressing HIV-Related Stigma This module examines the pervasive impact of HIV-related stigma on mental health and well-being. By recognizing the various forms of stigma, internalized, interpersonal, and institutional, participants develop strategies to support their mentees in coping with and challenging stigma in their personal lives and communities. Building Essential Skills, Module 2 equips participants with the knowledge and skills necessary to be effective peer mentors. This includes training and active listening techniques, empathetic communication, and strategies for creating a safe, non-judgmental space for mentees. Clarifying Boundaries and Referral Processes, this module emphasizes the importance of understanding the boundaries of the peer mentor role. Participants learn when and how to refer mentees to professional mental health services, such as the Colorado Health Network's Behavioral Health Team, when needed. Suicide Awareness and Prevention Given the increased risk of suicidal ideation among newly diagnosed individuals, Module 2 provides comprehensive training in suicide awareness and prevention using the question, Persuade, Refer, QPR, framework. This equips mentors with the skills to identify warning signs, assess risk, and connect mentees to appropriate support services. By the end of Module 2, participants will have a deep understanding of the emotional challenges faced by newly diagnosed mentees and the skills and resources needed to provide effective support. This module is crucial in preparing mentors to be empathetic, knowledgeable, and proactive in their roles, ultimately contributing to the overall well-being and resilience of their mentees. In Module 2, we'll focus on the complex emotions and challenges faced by newly diagnosed individuals. From shock and denial to anger, fear, and guilt, we'll explore the range of responses mentees may experience through activities like the emotional response spectrum and sharing stories. By understanding these emotions, we can better support our mentees with empathy and compassion. We'll also delve into the pervasive impact of HIV-related stigma on mental health and well-being. Recognizing the various forms of stigma, internalized, interpersonal, and institutional, will help us develop strategies to support our mentees in coping with and challenging stigma in their personal lives and communities. Throughout this module, we'll equip you with the knowledge and skills necessary to be an effective peer mentor. You'll learn active listening techniques, empathetic communication, and strategies for creating a safe, non-judgmental space for your mentees. We'll also clarify the boundaries of the mentor role, emphasizing the importance of referring mentees to professional mental health services, such as the Colorado Health Network's Behavioral Health Team, when needed. Additionally, we'll provide comprehensive training in suicide awareness and prevention using the question, Persuade, Refer, QPR, Framework. Module 3 of the Empowering Connections Peer Mentoring Program focuses on the power of sharing lived experiences as a means of building trust, rapport, and providing hope to mentees. The main objectives of this module are Highlighting the value of shared experiences, this module emphasizes the unique role that long-time survivors of hiv aids can play in supporting newly diagnosed individuals. By sharing their personal stories of resilience and growth, mentors can provide a powerful sense of connection and inspiration to their mentees. Teaching Effective Storytelling Techniques, Module 3 equips participants with the skills to communicate their experiences with purpose and impact. Through activities like the 7-step sharpening your storytelling exercise, mentors learn to reflect on their own journeys and identify key moments of challenge and triumph that can provide valuable insights and guidance to their mentees. 
balancing vulnerability and boundaries, while sharing personal experiences is a cornerstone of the peer mentoring relationship. Module 3 also stresses the importance of maintaining appropriate boundaries. Participants learn strategies for sharing their stories in a way that is authentic and supportive while also prioritizing their own emotional well being and respecting the autonomy of their mentees. Practicing self care. The Navigating Boundaries and Self-Care Roleplay Activity in this module helps mentors practice setting clear boundaries and developing personalized self-care plans. This is crucial for maintaining their own resilience and effectiveness in their mentoring roles. Fostering Empathy and Understanding By engaging in activities that promote self-reflection and the sharing of personal narratives, Module 3 deepens participants' capacity for empathy and understanding. This not only strengthens the mentor-mentee relationship but also contributes to a more supportive and inclusive community within the program. Through the exploration of shared experiences and the development of effective storytelling and self-care strategies, Module 3 prepares mentors to harness the power of their own journeys in supporting and empowering their mentees. This module is essential in fostering the trust, rapport, and sense of shared humanity that lie at the heart of successful peer mentoring relationships. In Module 3, we'll explore the power of shared experiences in building trust and rapport with our mentees. As long-time survivors of HIV-AIDS, your personal stories of resilience and growth are invaluable in providing hope and guidance to those who are newly diagnosed. We'll learn effective storytelling techniques to communicate our experiences with purpose and impact. Through activities like the 7-step sharpening your storytelling exercise, we'll reflect on our own journeys and identify key moments of challenge and triumph to share with our mentees. It's important to strike a balance between vulnerability and maintaining boundaries in our storytelling. We'll discuss strategies for sharing our experiences in a way that is authentic and supportive while also prioritizing our own emotional well-being and the autonomy of our mentees. The Navigating Boundaries and Self-Care Roleplay Activity will help us practice setting clear boundaries and developing personalized self-care plans to maintain our effectiveness as mentors. Module 4 of the Empowering Connections Peer Mentoring Program introduces participants to motivational interviewing. Me, a powerful evidence-based approach to facilitating positive behavior change. The main objectives of this module are Understanding me concepts and principles. Participants learn about the key concepts underlying me, including its emphasis on collaboration, empathy, autonomy, and the spirit of me, partnership, acceptance, compassion, and evocation. This foundation is essential for creating an environment conducive to change and growth. Developing or skills. Module 4 focuses on building proficiency in the fundamental skills of me, known as ORs, open-ended questions, affirmations, reflective listening, and summarizing. Through examples and practice, mentors learn how to use these techniques to engage mentees, explore their motivations, and guide them towards positive change. Recognizing and responding to change talk, participants are introduced to the concept of change talk and learn to identify its key elements, darn, desire, ability, reasons, and need. By learning to recognize and reinforce change talk, mentors can help mentees build momentum towards their goals. Navigating sustained talk and resistance. Module 4 also addresses the challenges of responding to sustained talk and resistance, which are common in the change process. Through the responding to sustained talk skills practice, mentors develop strategies for navigating these obstacles with empathy and understanding while gently guiding mentees towards considering the benefits of change. Applying the four processes of me. Participants explore the four processes of me, engaging, focusing, evoking, and planning, and learn how to apply them in their mentoring relationships. By mastering these processes and utilizing tools like the Change Plan Worksheet, mentors can effectively support their mentees through the stages of change and help them develop concrete plans for achieving their goals. By the end of Module 4, participants will have a solid understanding of me principles and techniques and the skills to apply them in their mentoring relationships. This module is crucial in equipping mentors with evidence-based strategies for facilitating positive behavior change and supporting their mentees in achieving their health and well-being goals. The integration of ME into the peer mentoring program enhances its effectiveness and ensures that mentors are well prepared to navigate the complexities of the change process. Module 4 introduces us to the powerful tool of motivational interviewing, or ME. We'll explore the underlying concepts of me, including its emphasis on collaboration, empathy, autonomy, and the spirit of me, which encompasses partnership, acceptance, compassion, and evocation. We'll dive into the fundamental skills of me, known as ORs, open-ended questions, affirmations, reflective listening, and summarizing. Through examples and practice, 
we'll learn how these techniques can help us engage our mentees, elicit their own motivations for change, and guide them towards their goals. We'll also explore darn, desire, ability, reasons, and need, which are the key elements of change talk that we'll be listening for and reinforcing in our conversations. Responding to sustained talk and resistance is another crucial aspect of me. Through the responding to sustained talk skills practice, we'll develop strategies for navigating these challenges with empathy and understanding, while gently guiding our mentees towards considering the benefits of change. Finally, we'll explore the four processes of me, engaging, focusing, evoking, and planning. By mastering these processes and utilizing tools like the Change Plan Worksheet, we can effectively support our mentees through the stages of change and help them develop concrete plans for achieving their goals. Module 5 of the Empowering Connections Peer Mentoring Program serves as a comprehensive review and conclusion to the training curriculum. The main objectives of this module are Reviewing key concepts and skills, Module 5 provides an opportunity for participants to revisit and reinforce the key concepts and skills covered throughout the training. This includes the basics of HIV AIDS, the impact of stigma, the power of shared experiences, and the techniques of motivational interviewing. By consolidating this knowledge, mentors can feel confident in their ability to provide informed and effective support to their mentees. Reflecting on personal growth, this module encourages participants to reflect on their personal growth and learning throughout the training. By engaging in self-reflection, mentors can identify areas of strength and opportunities for further development, setting the stage for continuous learning and improvement in their mentoring roles. Providing and receiving feedback, module 5 includes opportunities for participants to provide feedback on the training program and share their insights and suggestions. This feedback is invaluable in shaping the program to meet the evolving needs of both mentors and mentees. By engaging in open dialogue, participants contribute to the ongoing development and refinement of the program. Acknowledging collaborative efforts, this module recognizes the collaborative nature of the program and acknowledges the contributions of key individuals and organizations, such as the Colorado Health Network. By highlighting the support and expertise provided by these partners, Module 5 underscores the importance of collaboration and community in the success of the peer mentoring program. Setting goals and building community, the closing activity, a look to the future, encourages participants to set personal goals for their mentoring journey and share their aspirations with the group. This activity fosters a sense of community and shared purpose among the mentors, creating a strong foundation for ongoing support and collaboration. Module 5 serves as a powerful conclusion to the Empowering Connections Peer Mentoring Program, reinforcing key learning points, promoting self-reflection, and setting the stage for the ongoing growth and impact of the program. By celebrating the achievements of the participants and the collaborative efforts of the program partners, Module 5 sends mentors forth with a sense of purpose, connection, and empowerment as they begin their journey of supporting individuals living with HIV AIDS. As we come to the end of our training, let's take a moment to review the comprehensive curriculum we've covered. From the basics of HIV AIDS and the impact of stigma to the power of shared experiences and the techniques of motivational interviewing, we've gained a wealth of knowledge and skills to support our mentees. We've emphasized a multifaceted approach to learning, incorporating informative presentations, interactive activities, and group discussions. Your feedback and insights have been invaluable in shaping this program to meet the evolving needs of both mentors and mentees. It's important to acknowledge the collaborative efforts that have made this training possible. The support and expertise of the Colorado Health Network have been instrumental in developing a program that is both informative and impactful. Special thanks to the key individuals who have contributed their knowledge, experience, and passion to shaping this curriculum. As we close, let's take a few moments for reflection and goal setting through our final activity, a look to the future. Think about the key takeaways you've gained from this training and the specific goals you have for yourself as a peer mentor. By sharing our aspirations and building a sense of community, we can embark on this journey with confidence and purpose. Evaluation is a crucial component of the Empowering Connections Peer Mentoring Program, as it helps assess the program's effectiveness, identify areas for improvement, and ensure that it is meeting its intended goals. Here are some ways to evaluate the project. Pre- and post-training assessments, Administer assessments to mentors before and after the training to gauge their knowledge, skills, and confidence in providing peer support. This can help determine the effectiveness of the training curriculum and identify areas where additional support may be needed. Mentor and mentee feedback, 
regularly collect feedback from both mentors and mentees through surveys, interviews, or focus groups. This can provide valuable insights into the program's strengths, weaknesses, and areas for improvement. Feedback can cover topics such as the quality of the mentoring relationship, the impact of the program on the mentee's well-being, and the mentor's experience and satisfaction with their role. Tracking mentee outcomes, monitor and track key outcomes for mentees, such as treatment adherence, engagement in care, mental health, and quality of life. This can be done through self-reported measures, clinical data, or other relevant indicators. Comparing these outcomes to a control group or to the mentee's baseline measures can help demonstrate the program's impact. Assessing program reach and engagement, track the number of mentors trained, mentees served, and the frequency and duration of mentoring sessions. This can help evaluate the program's reach and the level of engagement among participants. Conducting a cost-benefit analysis, evaluate the program's costs, e.g., training expenses, mentor stipends, administrative costs, in relation to its benefits, e.g., improved health outcomes, reduced health care costs, increased social support. This can help demonstrate the program's value and justify its continuation or expansion. Regarding future considerations for the Colorado Health Network, there are several potential avenues for growth and development. Expanding to other cities and towns in Colorado, given the success of the program in the Denver metropolitan area, the Colorado Health Network could consider expanding the Empowering Connections Peer Mentoring Program to its offices in other cities and towns across the state. This would allow the program to reach and support a greater number of individuals living with HIV AIDS in Colorado. Creating a program for peer mentoring support systems of clients, in addition to the one on one mentoring model, the Colorado Health Network could develop a program focused on building and strengthening peer mentoring support systems for clients. This could involve facilitating group mentoring sessions, organizing peer support groups, or creating online platforms for clients to connect with and support one another. By fostering a sense of community and shared experience among clients, this program could enhance the overall impact of peer support. Other organizations, the Colorado Health Network could explore partnerships with other organizations working in the field of HIV AIDS, such as healthcare providers, community based organizations, and advocacy groups. These collaborations could help expand the reach of the peer mentoring program, share resources and expertise, and create a more comprehensive and coordinated system of support for individuals living with HIV AIDS. Developing specialized mentoring programs, as the Empowering Connections Peer Mentoring Program matures, the Colorado Health Network could consider developing specialized mentoring programs tailored to specific subpopulations or areas of need. For example, this could include programs focused on youth, women, LGBTQ plus individuals, or people with co-occurring mental health or substance use disorders. By providing targeted support, these specialized programs could better address the unique challenges and needs of these populations. Investing in mentor training and support, to ensure the long-term success and sustainability of the peer mentoring program, the Colorado Health Network should continue to invest in the training, support, and development of peer mentors. This could involve offering ongoing training opportunities, providing regular supervision and debriefing sessions, and creating a supportive community of practice among mentors. By prioritizing the well-being and growth of mentors, the program can maintain a high standard of quality and effectiveness over time. Advocating for policy and system change, while peer mentoring programs play a vital role in supporting individuals living with HIV AIDS, it is also important to address the broader structural and systemic factors that contribute to health disparities and stigma. The Colorado Health Network could use the insights and experiences gained through the Empowering Connections Peer Mentoring Program to advocate for policy and system changes that promote health equity, access to care, and social justice for people living with HIV AIDS. This could involve partnering with other organizations to raise awareness, engaging in community outreach and education, and working with policymakers to advance supportive legislation and funding. By continuously evaluating the program, exploring opportunities for growth and collaboration, and investing in the development of peer mentors, the Colorado Health Network can strengthen the impact and reach of the Empowering Connections Peer Mentoring Program. By doing so, 
The organization can make a meaningful and lasting difference in the lives of individuals living with HIV AIDS in college. I want to take this time to thank Danielle Willis, Amelia Stoll, and Sam Harrison for their help and advice in putting this program together. Without their guidance, I shudder to think how this may have turned out. Thank you. Thank you all at Colorado Health Network for your dedication and commitment to making a difference in the lives of individuals living with HIV AIDS. Your efforts have prevented so many from becoming homeless and losing their utilities. Your case management has worked to ensure that people stay healthy for as long as humanly possible. Your compassion towards and empathy for your clients reminds us all of our shared humanity. Together, we have the power to create lasting change and provide the support and guidance that our mentees need to thrive. Remember, your role as a peer mentor is a testament to your own resilience and growth, and the impact you make will be felt for years to come. To everyone else, thank you all for watching this brief presentation.